Hello everybody, this is Mad Cat Sphere. My original name is Ricky Cespedes, and uh, I want to talk about um, more on spirituality, but in terms of uh, um, um, animals, you know, like um, what what one thing that I've come to kind of uh, think about that just kind of hit me is that you know um, humans have this big issue of like having um, you know having a life review when they die, but what about what about animals? Do they have a life review? You know, and, 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 and I think that they do have a life review and it's very, very similar to humans. But that I believe that uh, what the other thing that I've come to kind of realize too is that kind of a strange thing is that is that how do they learn about about their life when they live like basically how we would consider sin? Killing and eating you know stealing food from others you know like hyenas steal food from lions and stuff like that and vultures steal food from hyenas and lions and and um you know a whales killing seals for fun you've seen the youtube videos whales kill seals they flip them around they, they get the the uh, the carcass and they flip two two seals flip the poor dead seal around like a damn um volleyball you know and it's kind of like you know the, the like 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 don't they when they die do they learn anything from what they're doing you know do they have any regrets do they progress you know and and if so how do they progress because it's kind of a like with humans we have rules that we have to abide by so that we can learn and progress and i and and the thing is though is that it's kind of a, a contradiction in the in the and the whole grand scheme of things it's a contradiction in uh, what the meaning of life is supposed to be about learning loving and caring and having um, 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 having to um, to be able to have uh, sympathy for others and things like that but how do animals learn when their livelihoods their livelihood depends on them to hunt and kill how do they learn how do they learn about how not to kill how not to hurt when when they're born in a in in their own meat suit their own puppet suit where the spirit basically is like um locked in a form of psychosis within the body of the suit the spirit is in a form of, of psychosis being hypnotized you know the spirit has a, a little bit of a sense of self but they're so entrapped in the puppet body that they that they uh, really don't have much control because the DNA and the psychological uh, um, interwebbing the neurological structure drives the sexual the sexual drive and the needs as humans do and and uh, the animals they're locked in these bodies you know how how are they supposed to develop and learn you know they're, they're and that's just basically the whole thing with humans and, or animals which I just kind of came up you know thought of it right now. Is that it's kind of a contradiction? Is that, is that how can animals learn learn anything? When you know, I thought what I thought was that you know humans don't hurt or don't kill, because you're gonna feel that pain when you kill someone. When you kill someone, you're gonna feel it. If you if you if you have a hammer and you hit someone in the head with a hammer and you kill them, you're gonna feel that hammer going into your head and your life review. But when an animal dies, they're gonna feel the lion's gonna feel his mouth digging into the neck of the zebra you know when when he dies he, he's gonna feel the pain that he inflicted on that zebra the lion's gonna feel that and so how and so of uh, that's the contradiction of like of what what is life about then you know what are humans you know what, why are humans putting being put through this guilt trip of learning to be better when the animals themselves are so locked in in the zone and their own psychosis that they basically don't have no control over their their instincts you know they're in traps so deep they're in they're in the character so deep that they just have to just go out and kill and 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 just do it and that's the thing is that um is that uh what what i've come to realize is that life is very um malleable it's very uh, uh moldable that there is no real right or wrong, you know, that, 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 that infinity goes off forever and that every concept, whether negative or positive, is considered and acknowledged. 
and uh, and I feel that um, that that applies the very nature of the animals, how they live their life, and how they and how they learn. That right there within itself just suggests that there is no boundaries to life and existence itself, whether living or dead. In that um, maybe the the animals. Um, Maybe God made a special rule or something to where like the animals are not held accountable for what they do. They're not held accountable for what they do because the spirit is entering a new form of living when they reincarnate or incarnate into an animal or bug or whatever. What it is is just it's just experience for the sheer experience. And yes, humans can learn because the, the, the thing is though is that to learn or not to learn. To learn or not to learn, to do or not to do, that's what life is. You can pick two avenues. You can pick a life where you can learn about sympathy, pain, love, lust, envy, and all that, which is human life. You can do it if you want to. And whether you gain some knowledge, whether you're better afterwards, whether you've improved your life as a spirit afterwards, after you die from that human body, is all up to you. It's just to do it. And, it, and, and what it is, is just the sheer experience of just experiencing it. And, and, and I say that, now I say that because, because, you know, how can the animals advance and progress? How can they be held accountable for anything? When, when they, it, it doesn't seem like the animals are progressing socially amongst their circle, you know? It doesn't seem like they're trying to divert their lust for for, for, for blood and instinct for blood and meat. They're, they're not trying to go and, you know, trying to teach each other. Well, let's try to eat some vegetables, you know, you know, because uh, I'm getting visions, you know, like the, the lions don't telepathically speak to each other, say, well, I, 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 my, my, my past life, I've lived as a lion millions of years, many years. I've been here before. I, we, we must all change. I have an epiphany. It's a message from God. The animals don't have those epiphany type of things. You know? They, they don't pass on knowledge like humans do. And what that what that is, that 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 puts everything in a whole new perspective on life itself. That the humans need to acknowledge how the animals live. And that the grand scheme of things, all of this is like I said, it's a game. If you learn anything from what you're doing now, then then so be it and good for you. You know, uh, that that's just how, uh, because, you know, like I want there to be some form of progression. I want there to be some form of a positivity to have meaning for the, 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 the spirits to um, to be good and love, you know. But when you look at the life of an animal that doesn't progress, they have not progressed away from killing each other. Basically, they have not done any progression since the dawn of humans. They have not done anything. The animals have not done nothing. Nothing. There's no progression. Nothing. So what does that say? You know, that says that life is more malleable and it goes, it's more spateral, like in science, you know. Um, it's, it's, it, it's spateral. It goes in all directions and it's everywhere. It's, it, it's, it's, it's everything and nothing all at once and it's, it goes everywhere. And so... Like you could be a human for a few hundred years, go and come back a few times, and you could, then you can say, oh, I want to be a bug. I want to be an animal. But I think that humans are a little bit, little bit more precious in that we actually gain more intellectual, emotional, creative process of, you know, we, we gain, we, we observe, and we have literature and mathematics, and we're much more, you know, being a human, living as a human, is like small elements of the animal. Small elements. We have small elements of the animal and we're above them. So being a human, being a spirit of human is better. But also, um, the animals are a little bit lower, I would say, because it's just for fun. You know, go out and go kill, you know, go go out there and, you know, survive and be a, run away from, you know, be a zebra and run away from, you know, the, you know, be like, like the antelope and run away from the lions, you know. And just escape and survive and all, oh, 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 you know. And then when you die, you go back up. You, you return back to your original form, your spirit form, which is any and every form. And, uh, you know, 
life is just fun, man. And, and uh, uh, um, the animals, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the conclusion to this is that it's all just experience. And yes, we all should love each other. We should all respect. We should all advance. But it's just a game. It's a game. It's, it's just like it's the equivalent. It the uh, it's like a hyper equivalent of playing uh, uh, Doom or Call of Duty. That's what this game is. But it's virtual. You know, when you shoot someone in a virtual in, in, in a Call of Duty or Doom, you're not having no sympathy or nothing because it's not real. And and, and even if you shoot your friend, um, like you're playing a death match in Call of Duty or you know whatever whatever it is now, or like whatever um, on Doom. Um, you shoot him, you kill him, he, he's still alive, he's still okay. But you still have to have sympathy and some remorse because you're, like, you're, you're gonna feel it, you know. And um, uh, the, the animals is just for fun, it's more lower than us. I don't want to say that because I want to say everything's equal, but it's a little bit lower because it's more of a game that's like, you know, like they're not really learning nothing, they're not really progressing. The, the animals are just. It's just a, a, a like a, it's like a flash game, you know. It's just like bad, bada bing, bada boom, boom, get out of there, bada bing, bada boom. Just do it and die and leave, you know. That that's what it is. It's like a little mini game, but the big game, the meaning game, the big meaningful game, is being human. That's the the game. Being us, learning to love in advance, being an animal, being reincarnated or incarnated as an animal. It's just a little flash game, little mini game, little little uh, something different to get out and come back as a spirit. We're all learning to love them. This week says for this, they guess watching.